Good evening, and welcome to our service of Thursday Compline here at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City. Our Compline service is guided by the Mission St. Clair app, which you can get on your phone or tablet. Or you can follow along with us using the Book of Common Prayer, and an order of service was sent out earlier this morning. We invite you to leave us a comment or reaction so we know that you're here praying with us so that we can pray with and for you. Let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our psalm this morning is psalm, this evening is Psalm number four. We will say this together. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our word this evening comes from the book of Jeremiah. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Please join me now as we say together our prayer responses of the evening. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now say together the prayer that our Lord and Savior taught us to pray, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto you. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We give thanks, O God, for revealing your Son, Jesus Christ, to us by the light of his resurrection. Grant that as we sing your glory at the close of this day, your joy may abound in the morning as we celebrate the Paschal Mystery through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others. 
lifting up to you St. Mary's Episcopal Church and her people, beseeching you to guide, guard, and protect us and give us your grace and blessing as we do your ministry in this place. We lift up to you all of those on our parish prayer list, those preparing for and recovering from surgeries and procedures, those with need of ongoing care and healing, and those with urgent need this day. Are there those to be spoken? Jace, George, John, John, Gail, Lee, Butch, David, Kelly. I pray this day for Sharon, for Casey and Crawford, for Jessica and Kate. I pray for Sue, for David, for Kelly, for Becky and Mike. I pray for Alexa and Lauren. I pray for John and David. I pray for Enid and for Jan. I lift up to you Bob, Dee, and Adam, Haley, Morgan, and Emma, Bo and Patty, Kevin and Cindy, Kyle, Jordan, Jamie, and Ryan. Are there others? Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Join me now as we say together the song of Simeon. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this night and forevermore. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we thank you for joining us this Thursday evening for our service of Compline. As always, we invite you to our Sunday services of worship and praise at 745 and 10 o'clock. Our 10 o'clock service is streamed live right here on our Facebook page. As always, I commend to you to take care of yourself, show yourself self-care physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Reach out to someone you love. See how you might be a blessing to them this day. Call someone you haven't talked to in a while you might be the only voice they hear. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I wish you a good evening. May God be with you this night and always. God bless. <laughs>